Oh my goodness, I never thought I would be so excited and geeked out over a ring planner, especially this one, a pocket size. Let me show you why. This leather is so beautiful. I'm opening it as if I haven't opened it already, but I have, okay? I'm just doing this for presentation to show you the box it comes in, the dust bag it includes, but this brand is Moterm. I've never owned a Mo Moterm. I've seen my planner friends and my journal friends use them throughout the years. Um, they're pebbly, I believe it was their leather. It just never appealed to me. The, the quality that they had before in the past, it just, um, doesn't, it just wasn't for me and the colors, but I guess Moterm, they have extended their line. They've added this new addition, their full grain leather. So it's an upgrade from my understanding. And look at this baby. So beautiful. It's so stunning. This color is caramel and it is in their, I believe this is a pocket deluxe. The rings are 30 millimeters. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Surprisingly, no gaps in here. And I've had pocket notebooks like these or planners in the past from different brands, Giulio, Filofax. Okay, here is the, the trusty Filofax from the past. But from those makers, I believe the largest that they offer is is it 19 or 20 millimeters? So although I was somewhat successful in being able to stuff my notebook, I just wish that the rings were a little bit bigger so that way I can use it fully because I loved, while I loved using the Filofax Pocket Malden, this is an ochre, just I, I felt like it didn't offer enough. <laughs> so then I kind of, played around in the passport size throughout the years. And then I went into like a six size, but the topic is, the show is this Moterm. Look how big these rings are compared to a standard, well, let me get this one. This is a pocket of Filofax in the, is it 19? I think it's the 19 millimeters. Okay, you can see how cute and small those are compared to these big difference big difference and i'll show you how much it can actually hold but don't get me wrong th this ring size it already holds enough uh, this is actually the full year with the week which what is this the week on two pages yeah i don't think this has the monthlies but you could still see i have room to grow the thing about their pocket, though, with spe specifically um, Filofax, I just don't like the leather. They None of their leathers felt, um, or at least it didn't have the preference that I liked. This is buffalo leather, and you could see in, in time, it almost looks vintage-y, <laughs> antique-ish. Um, it can wear in. It's very durable, but I just don't like the wrinkles, and it just feels i don't know it doesn't feel as beautiful as this oh i love this leather on this moterm so really this video is just to show you what it looks like not a professional review or anything like that just wanted to show you if you have been on the fence or if you were curious to know what it looks like if the leather is uh, worth it and in my humble opinion I would say yes as someone that owns a lot of leather covers not only in you know pocket ring bound but in travelers notebooks and in um, other higher end leather covers yes the Moterm wow I am highly highly impressed I did not have high expectations for this because again I've seen their past products and that type of leather did not um, appeal to my taste, but this definitely does. If you are familiar with the Giulio brand, they are another planner maker, more, I would say, higher in price point. If you're familiar with their brand, though, this color reminds me of their rust. This is like a rust color, but Moterm has this as caramel which is like a beautiful, darker, burnt orange color. 
Hmm. It's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Can't stop staring at it and touching it. Okay, let's go over the details here. As you can see, as I flip this over a few times, I love the pocket configuration right here, these flaps. And then right here you have your three card slots or holders. You have another little mini pocket on this side pocket here one thing i do appreciate about this design is you see how the pen holder goes out versus for example filofax they have theirs in so you'd have to i guess put the pen in and train it to stick out like this one in time but it doesn't have an elastic so if if you have a pen that's larger it may not it may not do well with that as there's no room to stretch where this has some elastic so it gives you room to maybe stretch it out or break it in or at least use a clip on this side i really like the attention to details with this zipper pull this zipper right here it covers the little pull which is nice very thoughtful and then you have your three slots and then this is a gusseted pocket, so it actually extends out like that. You can put your keys, stamps, coins in there, stickers. Another pocket. And then your flap. And then on the back, you can put cash, receipts, paper, post-it notes, whatever you'd like. But the highlight is the, the big rings, the 30 millimeters. Wow, and I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna stuff it so you can see how much it can hold. And then this leather. Wow, I got really lucky with this. It's very, okay, not very, but it's pebbly, which I've seen with some of my Instagram friends. They have smooth, but I think they ordered a different color. I think they more went on um, like the forest was smooth. One of my friends, she had the black, which I did order. My black is on the way. And then, was it apricot or is it honey? So I would say mine has the, the texture one, the most textured out of the, the friends that I've seen. But I don't know if it's specific to this color or if I just got this particular hide or this batch. But it's beautiful. I'm so glad I got it. You notice how it has these two buttons here so you can close it and lash it in the front or you can get a little bit tighter i don't think it makes that much of a difference personally but i do appreciate that that option is there if you look at the strap filofax and the only reason why i keep comparing it to filofax is because filofax has been around the longest and i feel like a lot of um you know in the planner community a lot of you guys may be familiar with this brand already so you can see that the strap is wider. I do like how you can see the stitching on the Moterm. Um, let's see, let's take this out. Okay, you see how I have it stuffed? I haven't used this in like four years. It just, I still have some of like my old inserts. So I can close this, but again, look how worn in. This was actually um, gifted to me. So it came in worn, which I do love. But in general, as you can see with this brand new one, this is nice too, but I don't know, I just never, I just, the leather, it almost feels not plasticky, that's not the right word, but it just does not feel like this top grain leather. So taking this out, it will fit in this Motrim, okay? Let's do this, let me show you here. And I'm going to compare this to another notebook shortly. Um, I already know I'm going to get some, someone in the comments or in my messages asking if I could do a setup video. Um, I probably will because I'm not going to lie. I'm so excited about this notebook, this spiral Moterm. I haven't been this excited over a ring bound planner in forever. Actually, I think since my Malden. I'm not really in ring bounds. I like spiral notebooks and you know, like just these because I can turn it and write in it. But the thing is, you know, if I wanna switch or move things around, I'm a little limited 
So let me compare, actually that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to compare the size. You can see it's a little wider, actually a lot wider than your standard like pocket spiral notebook. But the height of it feels very familiar, which is possibly because it reminds me of the Malden. I think the Malden's like a smidge taller, but not that much to make a difference. You see how much wider this is? Obviously the Moterm has to be wider to accommodate the larger 30 um, millimeter rings, but the height of this is very familiar as it feels like a pocket, you know, a pocket notebook. If you look at the height, now the inserts are just like passport and I didn't realize that until recently when I was playing around with my configuration, the paper felt very familiar and I'm like, why does this feel like something I've handled a lot before? And that's because the standard pocket inserts, okay, the pocket size, it is identical to, if you're familiar with the Midori or the Traveler's Company brand, it is very, actually not very, it's identical to their insert. So pocket is almost like a passport size. Possibly why I am feeling the itch to move into this planner because it's portable, it's light. Plus I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling in these upcoming uh, months. So I want to move in and settle into a notebook, or I should say um, a system that can accommodate uh, my plans, my scribbles. You know, I'll explain everything in the setup video because I don't want this one to be too, too long. But another reason why I was inspired to consider this system was because of the flexibility. If something's not working for me, I can take it out versus having to rip something out. I can rearrange, I can make my own inserts and I have that freedom and flexibility. Um, speaking of that, oh, oops, I forgot to put this in here. I have a hole puncher <laughs> coming in the way because as you can see, like I said, this is, oh, did I just jinx myself? Remember earlier when I said these rings did not have a gap. I just saw, was that a gap? I have a ring puncher on the way because being that this notebook is a little wider, I can make wider pages. And I'll show you because I already did a little rough draft here, a little template. Let me see, where did I put it? I will, I had it somewhere. Did I add it already in here? Hmm. Oh, okay. So I have this notebook, this pen and gear from Walmart. I've shown it in my video before. It's really fountain pen friendly. It's thick, but not too thick. So I played around with the paper and you can see it's wider. Where did, um... oh, here it is. Okay, you can see it's wider than the standard pocket. So that is what I'm going to do when my hole punch comes because here I actually just did it myself with a single punch and some of them aren't really aligned that well. But this video is just to show you how much this Moterm can be stuffed. Okay, we're almost getting there. So as you can see, this is just a transfer of what I had in Oh, there's no gap, okay. What I had in my Malden. And then here I had a passport size notebook. So let's just pretend, okay, this is all the same setup. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to combine all of the pages from this one as well, this 2023 insert. Oh my gosh, I am loving this notebook. So just this alone, you can see I still have a lot of room where I can stuff these rings. So let's go ahead and do that. Just split this here. 
Now, this thing does not lay like completely flat, only because it buckles with this cover. So if, as you can see, if, if I were to lay it down on a table, this part keeps it from laying all the way down, but it's, it'll work well enough like this. Okay, this I might sell because honestly, I'm not going to use this. <laughs> Actually, you know what, now that I said that, I probably will use it to store and transfer pages that I'm no longer using, which again, I will explain a thorough setup video in a separate clip because this is already too long. But let me line this up. Are you ready for this? Okay. And if you are a Moterm user or if you have used them or are you? you know you have been um if you had good experience with them let me know in the comments what planner which cover you used um and or if you ordered their new top um their their leather their full grain leather let me know what color you have or what is on the way again i have a black one so when that comes in i'll show you because i plan on using that like during the winter Ta-da! Oh my gosh, look at my little chunky monkey. Did you see how easy that was? Okay, so let me flip this. Let's just pretend this isn't here because technically this is not part of the ring. Okay. And this isn't either, so I don't want it. Okay. Sorry I'm not properly prepared for this video. I was just too excited and I just wanted to jump on here and show you because I know these are selling like hotcakes. Okay, my friend was like, hurry up, you need to get a Moterm because they are selling out. So by the time you watch this, I mean, you could try the websites. I think Mo Moterm has a shop um, on their website, on AliExpress, on Etsy, but I think they are already sold out of the, most of their colors because everyone is just loving this new leather quality. But as you can see, look at that. I was able to put in double the amount. So I was able to combine this and this. So it's like a two in one. And then on top of that, I can still go back. And as you saw, I can add, you know, my other passport size notebooks. Or if you have a, a real passport, you can easily carry this, transport it. I'm gonna have a proper <laughs> setup video coming up. Can't promise it's gonna be soon, soon because I'm so excited. I have so many ideas running through my mind. And again, I'm waiting for my hole puncher, but hopefully I should have it maybe by the end of um, the month. This is an A6 size notebook, just to show you that um, I'm going to, you know, it can fit in the back. It sticks out, but this is how I'm going to use it. So this is a little sneak peek of my preview. I always have like it's a little notebook in the back on top of this. This I'm just showing you that you can put a passport size in this flap if you want extra pages, if these rings are not already big enough for you. And then you can add like an additional thinner notebook. I think this is 15 um, sheets folded, so it's like 30 pages. Wow, look at this. And oh my, it closes. You guys, look, if I do it on the second latch, okay, no, it's a little tight. Okay, the first latch. Wow, ta-da, do you see that? Okay, and then I can even like stick a pen in here if I wanted to. Look at this, oh my gosh, it is so, <laughs> it is so sick. This is probably like the chunkiest pocket notebook I've ever had. Again, I'm going to work on my setup. This is just for display purposes. I just wanted to show you that you could technically have two years worth of inserts because remember this, this block right here was the File Effects 2023 week on two pages. So this is all of the, the weeks of 2023 minus the months right here. And then I have the additional inserts right here. So that is a look at 30 millimeters when we look at these rings, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, let me take this out. Just wanna pop in here and just rave about the leather. This is what it looks like when I use my DIY paper. I'll give you a little sneak peek of my setup. So what I plan on doing is cutting out my own paper. I don't know which I don't know if I'm gonna go with a shop. I know you ring planners are really good at finding awesome shops, but 
my setups are so simple. I don't think I need like all the extra grids and checklists. I really, again, I'll explain in depth my whole setup, but really this is just a grab and go. It's something that I can just journal on the go, write my checklist on the go, write my thoughts and quotes. And if I want to rip it out, I can, you know, take it out. If I want to transfer it into another notebook or my commonplace journal, I can do that. Um, if I'm traveling, you know, I have something that's portable and light. So I don't think I need anything like fancy schmancy when it comes to layouts, but here you could see it's a lot wider than the standard, but I plan on getting all of the pages this length. I don't even know what this is called. Maybe pocket plus. I don't know. I don't know because I made it up. I just, <laughs> I measured how far it could go when I close it. And then I just marked it on the paper and cut it from there. So I have a whole stack here. I'm going to work on my dividers. And then if we close it, you could see, oh, hold on. Okay. Wait, is there an overhang? Okay, so as you can see, there is a little bit of overhang. I may have to cut it a little bit, maybe a smidge right there. But if I do on the first loop, even if I have it out, it's not hitting the pen holder. So this could technically work. The reason why I want it wider is because I can write more. I have more writing space. If you compare it to this, you look how tiny. It looks when I have all that. So that is that. Can you see? Okay. That was long enough just geeking out over this notebook. If you've used Moterm, what are your thoughts? What do you think? And especially if you have this particular, the their new um, full grain leather, what do you think about it? Do you love it? Because I'm loving it. So I'd like to know if anyone else has come across these and what your experience has been. Let me tell you too, okay? I, <laughs> let me tell you, I'm gonna whisper this because I don't want to get you know in trouble by the planner community, so to speak. But if you have never experienced uh, a Gilio, okay? A Gilio notebook, maybe due to price points, maybe due to it always being out of stock and you never had access to it. This leather is pretty darn comparable to their Apoca leather. Now the leather is different because I think Gilio uses like calf leather. So it's slightly, slightly, ever so slightly softer and lighter based off, you know, experience. I have owned Gilio pockets before in Gilio leather, but if I were blindfolded and somebody were just to ask me, oh geez, to, you know, if I just had to touch, I would know right away, okay, yeah, this feels like buffalo. This is like a buffalo leather. This is, you know, and I would probably know the brand, like, okay, yeah, this is probably a Filofax based off the stitching on the edge. If I was blindfolded and someone just had me touch this part, I would say, oh yeah, this feels like a, a Giglio. This leather is pretty darn comparable. I didn't know, oh, did I talk about the price point? So the price point, now don't get me wrong, Gilio is beautiful. And they were the first ones that came out with, the, at least from what I saw and um, my knowledge, they were the ones that came out with beautiful, you know, leather, top leather quality in this pocket size. Um, but their design is different. You don't have the double clasps here and the pocket configuration is different. They do have the back pocket just like the Maldens, but um, price point, if you're looking at the Filofax, this is going to run you, I remember a few years back, this was only like 90, not only, but it was like $99. Now you're looking at like 130. So this Malden is 130 at the time of this video. Um, I believe the Giglio, if you got it for this size, Again, they don't make these big rings. It comes in the same ring size as the Filofax. If you get their XL, they have two versions. They have like a smaller version of the rings and the, their XL. So it's like 15 millimeters or 19 or 20, but you're looking at about $200, 200 to 230, depending on the style, the type, 
um, the color, whereas this Moterm, I believe retail is 70 at the time of this video, 70 or 75. Um, yeah, I cannot believe it. So I'm just coming on here to show you my excitement because I, you know, if you have access to this as well, and you are like me, you like ring bound pocket size portable notebooks, but you really like good leather, I would highly encourage you to get your hands on, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, the Moterm, the, the new one. I don't know about the old one because I've, I've never owned the old ones. I'm only speaking about their new, their new full grain leather line. So I think you have to make sure when you look at the listing, it says like full leather or top leather or deluxe leather. This comes with a, a little leather dash or fly leaf. Here is another pen holder, which I think is so neat. So I can clamp that in there. This is already getting so bulky, but I'm loving it. <laughs> And then here's a little pocket here. How cute is that? You can stick something in there. It's little stickers, maybe little reminders. It's kind of tight, okay. But if you're on the fence, I would say go for it. And if you go for it and you regret it, you will not have any <laughs> problems selling it, trust me. Um, someone will be happy to take it off your hands. That is that. Okay, I don't know how much more I can ooh and ah over this Moterm. Jeez, how long is this video? Like 20 to 30 minutes long? My planner friends, you guys understand, we just geek out about this kind of stuff. Okay, so I will try to have a full, maybe set up by the end of this month, but I'll see you um, in the next video.